Okay, my brothers and sisters, the announcements. I've been dreading this entire Mass. So what is going to happen tomorrow on Monday when we open up? So you have to think of it in terms of the Mass inside the building and the Mass outside the building. The, the main thing that's going to happen is that we have only 25 spots inside the building, 25 households of four or less people per spot. So I'm going to let you see what it looks like. You'll see our wonderful sisters here. <laughs> but every other spot, the pews are closed. And it numbers about, it numbers about six on, well, six per, well, 12 per side. So there's 24 total spots. There's 24 total spots plus the choir loft. And so each spot will hold one to four people. And that's a household, people that do not need to be isolated from each other. And so we're learning it one day at a time. At least for right now, it's a first come, first serve basis. And uh, maybe later we'll do something like for the elders, first priority, but not yet. I'm not going to, I don't have, have the resources. If anyone in here is in here and sees an elder outside and wants to give up their spot, they're welcome to. And if a family sends a rep representative and the rest of the family comes later, I'm okay with that too. Not to give you too many ideas. But what's going to happen is the first 25 spots, once they're filled, there'll be someone at the door telling people to, that the church is filled. But here's what's going on. The bishop has said, as long as you watch the Mass, then you can receive communion at the end. And so keep the, think of the Mass like this, the Liturgy of the Word and the Liturgy of the Eucharist. And so you can receive the Word by being in the church, or you can receive the word as you're doing right now, watching from home, watching it happen, but you have to be watching live. And so, for those of you that want to stay at home and watch it on Facebook, I will be in the parking lot for the 30 minutes after the Mass, giving out communion. If you would like to come and try and get a place in here, and if you don't, just stay in the parking lot, watching it from your cars, you can do that too. I'm also going to try and set up either a TV or a projector outside so that people in the parking lot without smartphones or without Facebook accounts might have a way to watch from the parking lot. And this is an ongoing project. Um, so for those of you that make it into the door, you need to be wearing a face mask. We can't let you in without a face mask. I'm trying to buy some now, but currently the church owns none, no face masks, which means that you come early, you come in, you have a spot. No, you don't. <laughs> you can't be in here by decree of the bishop unless you bring your own face mask. Maybe later I'll have face masks to sell. I'm trying to buy them at $5 a piece right now. Um, so once you get in with your face mask, you find a spot, then... Um, as you saw in this mask, there will, mass, you will not, there's no procession. Communion, you stay in your spots and I come to you. And, you, and um, the other thing is, the side door to the parking lot is going to be locked. There's only going to be two doors open, one at the top of the ramp and one in the back. And this is so at the beginning and at the end of the mass, those doors will all be flown wide open. And actually, you'll know that there's no seats available when they're closed or when the Mass begins. Um, that's so that no one has to touch the doors. And then at the end of Mass, they'll all be wide opened again so that you can go out without touching the doors. The um, downstairs, the parish hall is restricted. We're worried about the banisters and about the bathrooms. You can still use the bathroom, but we're going to have a station downstairs to wash your hands because it's impossible to keep the banisters and the bathrooms clean between people. 
And so that's why we're locking that one side door towards the parking lot. So that the only reason to go through there is to go to the bathroom. There won't be any traffic through there. But we still ask that if a child goes down, that an adult's with them to make sure that they wash their hands. And that there's no kids that are down there by themselves. So again, this is a bit of a different world, you could say, that's going on. Belcourt will be not opening. So St. Anne's will have mass over the radio with communion afterwards. That's basically what we're doing here. But you'll be watching it on Facebook. And so if you're from St. Anne's, you might just want to do that. <laughs> You're welcome to come and try your chances to get one of these 25 and then stay in the parking lot. But the St. Anne's will already be doing it, but they'll be over the radio, so you won't even need Facebook or an internet connection. And they'll give communion after the Mass. And so what's going to happen tomorrow is if all 25 spots fill up, then we'll set up the TV outside, and I'll plan on being outside well, I guess regardless for 30 minutes, even if we don't fill up in here. That way, anyone that watches the Mass at home live can just stop by the church for the 30 minutes after the Mass or when you see me walk out <laughs> from in here and I'll be there to give communion to people. And so you get the word through the internet and you get the Eucharist in our parking lot. And let me see if I'm forgetting anything. So that's the reality of it. I think I covered everything. But the key thing is we're not filling up the church. The church has to stay mostly not filled up so that people can be safe. We're going to be safe here. Um, I'm going to do everything I can. And day by day we'll reevaluate. If we run out of cleaning supplies, the first thing that will happen is there will be nobody in the church. Everyone will get communion afterwards. So if we run out of cleaning supplies from cleaning after each Mass, then we'll still have Mass on Facebook and people will be able to stop afterwards for a communion outside. But as of right now, we have enough cleaning supplies to clean after every Mass. And um, so the final, that was everything about the new Mass. Feel free to send questions. I'm still going to make a little video to put this online. And the rest of the announcements, next week is Mother's Day. Whether you come in the church or not, I'm going to have roses for our mothers outside, along with some bracelets and some holy cards. And secondly, the missalettes will be giving them out this week. One of the bishops' decree is that there can't be anything in the pews that you can touch and the next person touches too. So we're going to give out all of our missalettes I ask that it only go to our Dunseeth people um, so that you can bring the missalette with you and then take it home. That way, those that want a missalette can have it. I will be putting them outside this week, just like we did uh, with Palm Sunday. The Star Quilt Raffle. The plan is to have an outside booth for those that want raffle tickets. But I've already told Betty, you shouldn't be reusing the same pin. You're probably just going to give her money and she'll give you a ticket and then you have to fill it out on your own and get the ticket back to us, either in the collection or drop it off to me or her somehow or put it in the mail. But we still plan to go forward with the Star Quilt raffle, but as safely as we can. I don't know when the raffle will be. We've been pushing it back since there's been no way to sell tickets. And um, lastly, the calendar for this week. For those of you on parish council, I talked to Jiggers yesterday. We're going to plan on having a parish council meeting Monday tomorrow in the evening. I'll call each of you today. The meeting will be here in our church with us distance so that we can talk about the new upcoming week and, and you can help me with planning. And Wednesday is our next Zoom Bible study, which I think went really well two weeks ago. So that's uh, Wednesday Zoom Bible study at 6, Monday Parish Council meeting at 6.30. And thank you, thank you, thank you for your patience. Each week we're going to get better. And one of these weeks, the miracle will be that everything will be lifted and things will go back to normal. 
that will happen. Right now, praise the Lord, you can have Jesus. So much of our nation right now cannot have him. And whether you sit in the car or at home and watch the Mass and receive him in the parking lot, or whether you are camped out trying to get in here to be a part of the inside Mass, all that matters is that you get Jesus. And so, thank you for attending virtually. And we'll continue doing this. I'll continue to improve. I'm hoping to eventually put this on YouTube Live so that more people can get it, especially from their living rooms if they've got Netflix. There's usually a YouTube channel. So I'm working on getting this on YouTube Live. And um, pray for me. And blessings. I know what's going on with the other pastors and playing it safe is a good way. We'll be taking this each and every day and you, I will be evaluating what will keep us safe. And again, if we run out of cleaning supplies, we won't go on with mass. We'll cancel the inside mass, but still have the outside mass with communion. And so cancel is in, I'll be in here by myself with all of you in the parking lot. But we have Jesus. And again, that's the important thing right now. So thank you all. God bless you. And that's enough for announcements for now. <clears throat>